it appears that the KPCC leadership has almost given up on Eldos Kundapilli MLA as it feels that there is no need to go into hiding if he had not committed the crime. The leadership may take action after knowing the court's decision on the anticipatory bail plea of Eldos Kundapilli. The court will consider the anticipatory bail plea on Saturday. KPCC President Kesudakaran has sent a letter to Kundapilli asking him to give an explanation by October 20th. The KPCC is unlikely to wait for his reply if the court rejects the bail plea. If the court rejects the anticipatory bail plea, the police will arrest Kunnapilli. The allegation against Eldos came as an unexpected blow when the leadership was aiming for a strong comeback in the state following the Bharat Joro Yatra. The leadership also reckons that the party will suffer a setback if it supports the MLA at this stage. That is why K. Sudhakaran and opposition leader V. D. Satishan said they will take uncompromising action and that they will not protect Eldos. If the party does not take action against Eldos, political opponents will use it as a big weapon against the Congress. Kundapilli's absconding has further provoked the Congress leaders. They are not able to contact him by phone. The leadership is also angry that he did not communicate with the party when the allegations were raised. The district crime branch has registered a case by slapping rape charges against Kundapilli on the woman's statement. The speaker has also responded that there is no obstacle to take legal action against the MLA. Meanwhile, the CPIM has refrained from raising demands for the resignation of Perimbaur MLA. The CPM State Secretary left the decision to demand his resignation to the Congress party and said that it is the Congress that must ask for his resignation on moral grounds. The Communist Party believes that the delay in his resignation will reap political benefits for the party. If the MLA does not resign in the coming weeks, the CPIM is planning to make it a political weapon against Congress. Meanwhile, the DYFI has come out with a unique way of protesting against Eldos Kundapilli. The Peribawa DYFI block president has approached the police with a man-missing complaint. In the complaint, the Perimbawa DYFI leader, P.A. Askar, said that their MLA is missing for four days and his office is shut down. His phone is also switched off. Therefore, it is not possible to meet him to discuss many issues. The complaint also requests the police to find him as soon as possible. DYFI will be conducting a symbolic search for the MLA on Saturday at Perimbawar. Although the CPM has not directly demanded Kundapilli's resignation, it has put the Congress under pressure by stating that it was a matter of ethics for Congress whether to allow a person accused of rape to continue as an MLA. News Desk, Comedy Global.